Good morning. I'm packing my stuff and uh, the owner, she just invited me for breakfast and having again a shower there, which is really nice. And uh, so we can leave soon. Yeah. But you can see there yeah, that the clouds are hanging really low yeah, and they are covering these hills which have not more than 350 to 400 meters in clouds and uh, the last days since I was hiking at this really beautiful day and I was talking about cherry trees which lost their leaves and that I could see the first signs of autumn in the forest um, this is just four or five days ago yeah? and since this time uh, um, the season massive changed and it's definitely autumn now uh, and uh, and this is bringing up one problem every morning if I pack or if I wake up the tent is wet uh, outside and also inside yeah, because there's the dog breathing it's me who are breathing and so I we have got a lot of condensate water and uh, there is no way to uh, uh, to get a tent dry, yeah. And uh, if if it's clear, especially if it's cloudy, yeah. And so this is not good for the material. And uh, well, but I can't change it. Yeah? And I just hope that the September and the October will be as nice as last year. It, last year it was phenomenal and i pray for it that it will be the same and i'm not uh, hunted by autumn storms and stuff like that and um and last year in the in the last weeks whenever i woke up in the morning the tent was frozen <laughs> so uh, um yeah so this will be now exciting again yeah <laughs> and then fresh uh, fresh nights yeah but uh well, all of that i cannot change yeah only uh i could just avoid it by by driving home but uh of course i don't do that i have got a goal and the goal is bologna today in the morning i talked with Anna. Anna is the grandma of the house and she told me a couple of things I never heard about it and I was really uh, shocked we were talking about the Second World War and she told me that both of her parents were kidnapped by the German Nazis as so many people in the villages around them and all of them uh, were brought to Germany where they had to uh, work in, um, in camps and her mother she was working in the kitchen and no one had got food and once the the major of the camp was not eating his food and then she did it and when it came out they wanted uh, to give her a bullet in the head and she was just rescued because she was pregnant with Anna then the next thing what Anna told me was that uh, during that time many hundreds or thousands Slovenian people were killed by Slovenian partisans. Yeah. Communist partisans and those communists um, they were uh, uh, working later than with the dictator Tito and, um, and she said just a couple of days ago they found a grave with more than 2,000 skeletons and every skeleton had got uh, a cross around the neck or this pearl chain uh, which you use for praying. Oh, 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 I really don't know what this sign means, but it doesn't look good. So probably we have to watch out for bears. So I really have to translate that first. Uh, I have translated it now. Complete, totally boring. Yeah. I really don't know why they use the picture of a bear. It just uh, tells, uh, uh, tells that you um, don't throw your rubbish away. Boring! The next story I also think it's worth to tell. 
and I was telling me that she joined a pilgrimage to Bosnia. There is a hill and in the 90s um, there was a Maria apparition. Um, and she said that there are every day thousands of people and uh, that many people were healed from their diseases and there were a lot of miracles and then then. So I was curious and I was searching for it uh, in the internet and you can find it if you look for uh, Maria operation in Bosnia. So what I found was that uh, those four or six kids, no not kids, young adults, after school they went up to a mountain and when they came back they told the people that they saw Maria. And um, after investigating and talking to them, they found out that they were smoking marijuana. But there was a priest and uh, he was asking them, uh, well, could Maria also, at the Maria operation, could it happen also in the village, in the church? And they said, yes, of course. Yeah, so since this time, every day, Mar uh, there's a Maria operation in the, in the village. The priest, and I think one other priest, yeah, who is responsible for all of that, um, is excommunicated by the Catholic Church. Yeah? The Catholic Church said, of course, it's not true, because what those uh, people are telling, it's written better in the Bible, there's nothing new in it, and of course, Maria, uh, you cannot order Maria <laughs> to come every day at 4 o'clock or whatever. Um, and so the, the church is denying that there are miracles or apparition or whatever. But Pope Franciscus allowed the, the people to, to come together there uh, because he say it's good for their soul and it's do something positive. And uh, I thought that's really very interesting. And today in the morning I was thinking about if I should tell her about uh, all those investigations and, and so. But then I thought, no, why? Don't do it. She's really happy with it. She's believing it in it. She paid a lot of money for it. And it's good for her soul. And after hiking 23 kilometers, all of a sudden, really surprisingly, there was this sign told me Camp Poje, and then there was this camping site. It's a small camping site, it's really very nice, and I've got electricity, everything I need, and it came just in, in time, so perfect. Well, today there's no soup, there is this thing here, I have got no idea what it is. And yeah, I just bought it in, a super, in the supermarket and I thought, oh, let's eat something different. Well, even food will not be or don't like to be judged by its look. Well, I think I said that something sour. And I don't know the, the English word for it's not reddish, but it looks a little bit like that, just bigger. Mm. I don't know. It's any root vegetable and that's sour with beans and potatoes and a little bit of speck and onions. It's not really tasteful. I wished I would have some chili to make it just hot.